recently we've had a regional integration symposium. Uh, before then, there was work on, uh, on, on labor, labor environment as well, which I think there's, there's been some really key t uh, takeaways. I think broadly, what has been very useful even for the team in terms of how the, the help in packaging research and also some of the modeling in terms of you know, capacity building. And uh, I mean, recently out of the regional integration uh, workshop, there's been some key uh, takeaway uh, to include various departments who are involved with the responsibility of regional integration in formulating what should be a South Africa strategy for, for, for the continent. No, I think broadly, you know, research cannot be research without access to data. And I think if we're, we're taking that line. And I think even our revenue services, uh, in terms of you know, making firm level data available, they, 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 they've been quite open. And of course, I mean, it, it comes with some uh, confidentiality and some top secret type treatment of the data. But overall, the idea would be if you're able to understand the dynamics of what's going on on the ground, on the micro, on the micro side, that helps as an input in coming up with policies at a micro aggregate level. So I think without that type of data, without access to that data, there isn't a way that uh, you can improve the quality of output out of your research. Because of the global network, uh, in itself, it says that then we, we are able to access through our own work uh, the, 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 the bigger global capacity type infrastructure that the UNU wider has. And if we want to make uh, some meaningful policy formulation and uh, an, an impactful uh, policy that is, you need to be able to, to work closer with, uh, with much more bigger global networks. And I think with the type of uh, at least history and capacity that you and you wider, we can only build along those lines of uh, having to really you know, uh, make meaningful policy formulation. You know, I think every sitting where there's uh, researchers, uh, it can quickly and easily gravitate towards being a talk shop. And I think it really it depends on what you take away from it. And there's a saying that when you put a group of researchers together, uh, they tend to make research for researchers. You know, it's always about impressing on the, the latest model, not car model in, uh, in, in this case, but you know, a Bayesian VAR model, Bayesian this, that tells you X, Y, Z. But it's what you take out of that that really cre creates, creates impact. And hence, I always emphasize, even with uh, our counterparts at, at, at UNU wider, that if we can't take something that is implementable out of our engagement, it makes life very difficult for me to communicate, even with my principles, about why uh, we should then continue with the relationship and how we justify the relationship with the UN and with the UN wider. And I think you know, in the recent months, there has been a big shift towards making the conversations much more meaningful and easy to interpret from a, from a policy making uh, perspective. I mean, the conference that was held in Helsinki with the UN wider celebrating was it its uh, 30th uh, birthday. I thought it was very practical, uh, practical type conversation. I mean, going into it with myself was quite skeptical whether you know, you're going to be sitting through sessions where it's about you know, sharing research output, sharing research papers. But it, it, was, it was designed to be very, very practical. I mean, leading up to the ones that we've had this week on regional uh, integration and now on the global uh, uh, the climate change, it's, uh, you, know, it's, you, you, you can see how it links up with work on the ground. And it becomes very, very easy for us uh, to take out of this type of conversation and conferences. When you go back to the office, you start thinking practically about you know, what work needs to go in. And so I've given an example earlier that on the regional integration already, there's, uh, there's a team that's going to be formulated, that's going to be working on an Africa strategy that will then influence policy decisions.